Captain America issue 3 sees Sharon set out on her mission for Ross, where she is picked up by an escort. Agent 13 knows better and attacks the men, killing one of them and ordering the driver to pull over and tell her who he's really working for. Steve meanwhile goes to a small town's 4th of July celebration, learning of Hydra's still lingering effect on the town, thanks to them fixing up the schools, killing all of the drug dealers and giving everyone healthcare and jobs. Joe, the man Steve talks with, says Washington has forgotten about them and while he didn't like Hydra's methods, they kept the town safe. Joe tells Steve that the power enterprise picked up right where Hydra left off and made the town a real America. Leaving Joe to enjoy his real America, Steve suits up and meets with Okio and T'Challa in their ship nearby. Steve reports in, saying the place is perfect to raise a family or a terrorist cell, and the coal mines in the town are dry, but the people still work there thanks to Hydra's iron fists still lingering on the town. Steve says Power Enterprises picked up the slack of Hydra being destroyed, and he wants to know who they are. Okio doesn't know yet, but they have mapped out their associations with other interesting people like Wilson Fisk. T'Challa tells him his interests lie with Ezekiel Stane, who threatened to destroy Wakanda and is tied to these people as well. T'Challa thinks that he is helping reproduce the nukes, and Stane is in contact with someone within the American government. Steve isn't surprised and should start expecting stuff like that, but T'Challa says that he should not and never expect things like that from his own people, since the day he does is the day Captain America dies. The team find the main base as well as Stane's location within the base, behind a wall of a dozen or so nukes. Steve wants to know how to shut them down, so they teleport into the base, and the heroes confront the nukes, battling the super soldiers, which the team know can only stay active for a few days before they burn out, but T'Challa has made a virus that will make them burn out in seconds. All the team has to do is get the virus into the central command unit. Okio goes for the unit as T'Challa confronts Stain, and Cap fights the nukes. Okio makes it to the command unit, inputting the virus that knocks out the nukes, and in the process learns something very important. Returning to Cap and T'Challa, Okio says they must find Agent 13. Sharon meanwhile orders her driver to talk, but Selene arrives, grabbing the man and draining him of his life force with her powers, telling Sharon that she would rather not make a meal out of Sharon just yet. Captain America issue 3 was another fantastic entry in Tanahasi Coates' run on the book and furthered the nuke storyline in a really nice pace, tying it in with Sharon's story and the overall plot with Selene. I really liked Cap getting to experience a small town America again and a small town that is kind of enjoyed being taken over by Hydra since it prospered under their rule. Again, showing Cap just how much of an influence Hydra had with a version of him at its helm and the personal conflict that Steve is going through by seeing all of this and seeing all this stuff that his doppelganger created. I'm really looking forward to the next issue with Cap possibly facing off against Celine and teaming up with Sharon Carter again. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.